Hey, what's up, guys? It's Left here, and today I am back bringing you guys another Vainglory video in 1.14. And today I'm going to be playing Black Feather, Weapon Power in the Jungle, with an Adagio and an Arden. So, in this game today, I have some amazing news for you guys, and that would be that I hit Pinnacle of Awesome. So, I just hit it today, and it's pretty amazing. Um, I mean, Pinnacle of Awesome is like an incredible achievement. Um, this trophy looks great. It's my first time ever being there. Um, it's just awesome in general. So it's it's just like so great to be in like one of the top percentages of all Vainglory players, and I just feel honored to be there. So. Now that I'm Pinnacle of Awesome, I'm probably not going to be ranking for a good while, like um, maybe a week, two weeks, hopefully not losing it, and so yeah, that's just that's an update on my ELO, and let's get into what I'm going to be doing in this gameplay. So in this game, I am going to be playing Weapon Power Black Feather, and I'm going to be using the old the old Serpent Smash and Breaking Point build. So, which is a terrible choice. Don't recommend it. I shouldn't have done this because, um, well, they changed Breaking Point. So, with Breaking Point now, it only stacks based on the weapon damage you're dealing per second, which sucks because you can't just get it like this anymore. Well, actually, that doesn't suck. I take that back. It's good. It's a really good thing. So. Yeah, I kind of like screw up my build, and at the end you'll see me like trying to kill this enemy Catherine for like a really long time. And since I since breaking point won't stack, um, since breaking point won't stack on since breaking point won't stack on just flat weapon damage or time in combat anymore, it takes me just forever to kill her. So, <coughs> so I have a couple of things that I wanted to talk to you guys about today. And one of them is the visual skill tier reset. So I've seen like so many different opinions on the reset. Um, there's people who are for it, people who are against it. All of the people who are, most of the people that are for it are on, uh, hmm. most of the people who are on it, or most of the people who are on board with this are from Super Evil. And, well, either that or, um, working for Super Evil or a really big um, or like a really big streamer or people who have ties to Super Evil. Most of the community really doesn't seem to like the tier reset. Which I don't I don't like um, I don't blame them. I don't like it either personally. So it's um it's it, it's just like I don't really understand why they had to do this. They didn't even really give a full reason for it, actually. It was supposedly to weed out trolls and people who don't deserve their skill tiers. I don't, I don't believe it, though. I feel like it was just a ploy to, um... I feel like it was just a ploy to, uh, what is it? I feel like it was just a ploy to get more replay value into Vainglory. Which I feel like is a blunder on Super Evil's part, which because that would be because Vainglory doesn't need any extra replay value. It honestly just doesn't. It's fine how it is. I replay it enough. I don't need to have my tier reset to zero just to keep playing the game. Like the game's not that boring for me. So yeah, I mean I don't really need my tier reset to actually get the um. To actually keep playing the game. I mean, that doesn't really give me any sense of accomplishment. What it gives me is a sense of despair that I'm gonna have to rank up through nine more tiers now to get back to my first, my last tier. So I can totally understand the people who don't like the tier reset, and I really don't understand the people who are for it. So yeah. Next, I kind of wanted to talk about um sort of the competitive scene in Vainglory. So, there are so many people who are just like, um, they're, well, I mean, there's so many things that they're doing that are like, what is it, that, that are enhancing Vainglory as an eSport. And that's, that's, that, those are things like guild teams, guild rewards, guild payouts, um, draft mode, 
draft mode, guild tags, team tags, um, and then all the sorts of tournaments that are going on. And if you if you kind of calculate like how much money Super Evil is spending on all these things, they're really trying to become an esport, and they're doing it successfully. I love to watch the VIPL. I've tried to compete in the VGL a couple times. Uh, that didn't really go very well, but whatever. And it's kind of strange because there's a lot of people who are they are uh, they're kind of like making little conspiracy theories that Super Evil is eventually just going to phase out the casual player, the guy who gets on, plays a game, and then goes and eats dinner with his family. So, which is partially me. So, um, it's just it's weird. Like I don't really understand. I, mean, I keep I keep going in circles because I don't have things to talk about, but. I'm on the Vanguard subreddit, and I guess I, kind of to, I guess I can just kind of talk to you guys about Ozo. Um, I've been playing him for like a day now, and he seems really good. Um, you're either garbage with him, or you're a complete god. It's, it's really weird. Like, his A, his A ability just does so many things in one. It's just, it's pretty amazing. So, what? I mean, I guess what I can say about Ozo is that he has, like, the longest, he has the longest gap, he has the longest gap, gap closer in the entire, in the entire game, if you can change his B correctly. So, if you can chain his B correctly, the first bounce has, like, no range, if you can hit, like, their support, the second bounce has more, you can hit their carry, third bounce has insane range, and then you can hit, like, all the way, like, halfway down the lane, almost. And that is where the gap closing prowess really comes in with Ozo. If you can tap your, if you can tap good enough, I mean, it's just good game because <laughs> no one can, no one's gonna be able to run for you. So, with his, um, what is it? With his A ability, it's, so there's, it does three things. First thing, he throws the ring forward. Second thing, he dashes through them. The third thing, he deals area attack damage in a circle around him. So, first ability, you just kind of use that when you're starting to fight. If you can, you can kind of wait to chain the second ability. If you can wait until they're running away, you can chain the second ability straight through them. Third ability, use it on more than one hero. It gives you increased life steal when, um, when you're using it, when you're hitting enemy heroes with the A. So, it's really, really good for just like jumping, jumping around teams, teams that don't have like a ton of mobility. And it's, I think Ozo actually has a chance to be played in competitive, so it's pretty nice. So, yeah, I mean, that's all I can really say about Ozo. I mean, I've had like a couple of amazing Ozos in ranked queue, and then I've had like a couple of garbage ones in casual. So, I guess that's all I can really say about Ozo. And I guess next what I can talk to you guys about is um, features out of game. Like, they said, Bang or Super Evil said, they said, play up your talk in the stream actually. So now that we have every single feature in there that can make like, give us a fully fledged esports experience, like draft mode, guilds, teams, payouts, um, and then like balance heroes. Now that they're gonna, now they're gonna start like um. Now they're, now they're gonna start like they're gonna start adding um out of out of game experience. Like this this post is from user Muntu from Southeast Asia, and he gives us a lot of great ideas. Like he wants us to be able to sign in with our Vanguard credentials into a website or desktop client that can be the hub to all things Vanguard. Profiles, links to previous matches, the market, the forums, guilds, teams, etc. Next, he wants stats. He wants everything for stats. Pick rates, ban rates, win rates, loss rates, KDA ratio, match duration, kills and gold, assists and gold, deaths and gold, golden experience, last hits, damage and healing, rolls, most played, game impact, most economical hero, gold per minute, that means. Best farmer, all of these against specific heroes in specific time frames, like this month, this week, etc. Then, also all of these stats, patch-wise, skill level-wise, position-wise, lane jungle roam, role-wise, so we can all differentiate and analyze. That is a lot to ask for, but I think it's worth it, so 
That was just for heroes. He says he also wants it for items. Most bought items, most used items, win rates for these items, roll for the roll of these items, he kills, deaths, and assists. KDA ratio with these items, most economic items. Next he wants all match replays, not just the pro matches, but mine too. I'm not sure how or when this could be implemented, but I'd love to see the matches given an individual to do, so we can refer to them later, download them, and watch replays for much. So, next he wants a separate section for matches, with tabs for popular teams, popular players, or wait, what does he want? He says he wants, let there be a separate section for matches, with tabs for popular teams, popular players this month and this week, etc. Sections for active leagues, schedules, recent matches, etc. With all of which with links to these. Next he wants for more players and more teams. Let all of the pro players and their teams have verified pages and profiles in the client I mentioned. Make it easier to follow particular player teams, see their matches, with links to their social media, official sites, etc. I would love to see their win rates, popularity, favorite heroes, roles, etc. Next, he wants per just personal stats. All of the stats mentioned just in our own games with different heroes, items, gold per minute, experience per minute, etc. So, lastly, what he wants is um, a tab in the user interface that allows him to see all items and read their effects and abilities, so we don't have to go into practice game just to browse them. That one's probably not so much needed because I, I know what all the items do, like their power, their attack speed, stuff like that. But that that is cool too. So there is there's so much good stuff here, and I think all the ideas are good. But oh yeah, and then Kraken from Super Evil actually said, I like these ideas, keep them coming. Um So and then I I commented on this somewhere, I'm trying to find it. I said, um where is this? I said, oh, somewhere on this, let's um, let's keep gold out of the active scoreboard. It would give people more reasons to surrender stand. So, yeah, I don't. I I commented that because don't you aren't don't you guys agree with me? It's like if they, if they put the gold differential in the active scoreboard in the game, let's keep that out of there because that would just give your team, your terrible team with more reasons. Damn surrender because they can see that you're down 9,000 gold. So, and because Reddit is Reddit, I got downloaded. So, thanks Reddit for being fucking sad so much. The only reason why I'm here is for the Vainglory subreddit. So, I mean, I'm about to go off on a tangent about Reddit. Reddit is just. It doesn't make any sense. It's like every single um there there is no original content. Um everything's reposted. If you if you post anything original, it's just gonna be stolen. And then like every single comment section, there's like one nice, intelligent, well thought out post at the top. And then from there it just degenerates into um, mindless movie and video game references from there. And everyone is just trying everyone's trying desperately to get karma. I've actually seen like a a graph of all Reddit karma and it's like 0.01% of people have 99% of the Reddit karma. I don't even know how much is a lot, I only have like 800, which is weird. I don't I hate Reddit so much. But it's um I make jokes all the time on the forums about, yeah, I, I hear you have to um, viciously fap the Bernie Sanders speeches to even log into Reddit now. Because Reddit is essentially just controlled by liberals. But that's another story for another day. I can't really go off on political tangents in this video, or people will probably dislike it, like they dislike my other videos. But those are just haters. Um, so yeah, <laughs> don't dislike my videos just because you don't agree with that's just, um, that's just, it's, it's stupid. So, um, what was I even talking about before I went on a rant tangent thing? So, uh, let's see, I was on the Vainglory subreddit, um, oh, shout out to Guard. Um, after I got POA, Guard just, he, he reached out to me with the most heartfelt and congr he just reached out to me to the most heartfelt and deep graduation and he said oh yeah that's all he said oh that's guard for you 
I just said oh. And yeah, that's how Guard can grab me from getting TOA. So pretty pretty a pretty nice heartfelt deep congratulations from Guard. It means a lot to me. So <laughs> I guess I mean what else am I gonna expect? He's the guy who's gonna send you um, 3,000 moon face emojis daily, I guess. <laughs> so, I guess I don't really have much to talk about again right now. I mean, this game is very long, and... Hmm. Let me just go back to the Vanguard subreddit. Um, let's see. Oh, I can talk to you guys about the Vanguard Twitter. Um, people are actually, um, so Sugar Venom, she saw that guy who has the Vanguard Saw account, and tweets like Saw, and she's like, haha, this is funny, um, a lot, this, this um, he's like, oh, this, uh, tweet, or this trend of Vanguard heroes tweeting needs to continue. About one hour later, there was a hero account for like every single Ringo hero. Except for people like Ringo and Troll, I haven't seen those yet. But it's 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 so funny. Like even I myself, I snapped up a trademark for the hero. And I didn't bring a trademark for the Vox. And I chose Vox because Vox is like, um, what is it? Vox is like a, <laughs> he's, he, there's so many funny things you can do with an account for Vox. It's like, it's just like an easy way for me to, I can just promote my own music just by saying like, oh, this track is cool for laying, and then like, oh, this track is spoopy, and it's funny because there's a Celeste in Arden, and I can like constantly fight with the Celeste and then talk to Arden like he's my dad, like, hey, hey, um, at Vainglory Arden, don't bother with my report card, laners don't need to go to school, right? And he's like, what report card? I haven't got one of those since he started school, he's like, what are you doing with them? And I was like, oh. Um, nothing, Dad. Forget I ever said anything. <laughs> so it's pretty funny. So go follow me over there if you want to. And so that is going to be it for my commentary today, guys. I'm going to leave you to the music as we close out this game. So leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you loved it. I'll see you guys in the next video.
three moves ahead. I may be a pro, but I have a very essential. <laughs> <laughs> 